In this video, we provide the solution to question number nine for practice exam number three for Math 1220. And we're given a first order linear differential equation 2xy plus x cubed is equal to x times the derivative of y with respect to x. Now, since this is a first order linear differential equation, the best method to solve this is using an integrating factor. So part A of this question actually wants you to uh, compute the integrating factor and then use that integrating factor to solve part B, to solve the differential equation there. So in order to find the uh, integrating factor, I'm gonna first put this in standard form. So in particular, I'm gonna move the two x, y to the other side of the equation. This rewrites the equation as x, y prime. I'll just use y prime to be short for dy over dx, minus two x, y is equal to x cubed. Um, I want the coefficient of y prime just to be one, so I'm gonna divide both sides by x. So we get y prime uh, minus two y is equal to x squared in that situation. So this then gives us the standard form for uh, a first order linear differential equation. This then tells us that the integrating factor is then going to equal uh, the exponential e to the power of, where we take the coefficient of the y right here, do make sure you grab the negative sign. So you're gonna get the integral of negative two dx there, for which you can grab any antiderivative on this one, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna grab from that one, negative two x, and so my integrating factor is e to the negative two x there, so that's part a. Part B, we then want to solve the, uh, we want to solve the differential equation by taking this right here and multiplying on both sides by the integrating factor. This is going to give us e to the negative 2x y prime minus 2 e to the negative 2x y is equal to x squared times e to the negative x like so. Then on the left-hand side, it's going to factor very nice. You, if you skip a lot of the steps there, I'm okay with that. The left-hand side, because it looks like the product derivative, uh, this is going to be the in, when you take the integral both sides, you're going to take the integral um, with respect to e to the negative 2x, y. I know the antiderivative there. The left hand, or the right-hand side is the interesting one, x squared e to the negative x dx like so. Uh, so on that one, on the... Because, because like we said, on the left-hand side, it's just gonna be e to the negative two x, y. That's, that's no problem there. Uh, on the right-hand side, I'm a little bit more interested. Integration by parts seems like the appropriate tool right here, where we could take u to be x squared, so du is equal to two x. We take dv to equal e to the negative x, v equal to negative e to the negative x, like so. And so if we plug that in for integration by parts, we're gonna get negative e to the negative, um, oh, I wrote negative x there, that should be a two. That should be a two, and so this should be a two, which then gives us a one half there. That was an important thing to notice at this moment. So we're going to get a e to the negative, uh, excuse me, let me fix part of this, put my twos back on the screen. We got a two there, we had a two there. Um, so this should be a two here, so this should be a two here, and should divide by two. All right, so let's try this again. that again. We're gonna get negative one half x squared e to the negative two x, like so. Then for the integral, you're going to get negative the integral of v du, uh, which the one half here cancels the two right there. The negative here will cancel with the forthcoming negative. So you're going to get the integral of just x e to the negative two x dx, for which when you look at that second integral, we're going to do integration by parts again, uh, for which same basic strategy u equals x, which means du equals dx then dv is going to again be e to the negative 2x dx. I'll do it right this time though. So v then turns out to be negative 1 half e to the negative 2x. When you put those all together, we're going to end up with e to the negative 2x y is equal to negative 1 half x squared e to the negative 2x. Uh, then we end up with a uv here minus 1 half x e to the negative 2x, and then our integral, we're gonna get a positive again because it's a double negative, but the 1 half won't cancel out this time. We get 1 half e to the negative 2x dx. So we gotta do one more integral there. Just copying down the things from above. Now this time I have to do the antiderivative e to the negative two x again, which I've done that already a couple times. You're gonna get negative this time one fourth. The one half that's already there will combine with the new one half that comes from the antiderivative. E to the negative two x plus a constant. 
Don't forget that plus a constant. That's very important with this differential equation. Now to solve for y, we're gonna divide both sides by e to the negative two x. That's gonna cancel out this one and this one and this one. So we end up with a negative x squared over two. We're gonna get a negative x over two. We're gonna get a negative one fourth. And then lastly, we're gonna get c times e to the positive two x like so. And this then gives us the solution to this uh, linear differential equation.